In this video, I'm going to show you how to shoot a 360 degrees panorama and then merge them together and create a permanent inside Adobe Photoshop. Now, going to take a look at the finished product. This panorama is really high resolution picture. It's about 18,000 pixels by 6,000 pixels. If I zoom into actual size, you can see a lot of small detail inside the pitch. Main red bicycle here. And see the global is really fun. And this little planet created by Prolama, it is also really high resolution pictures about 10,000 pixels by 10,000 pixels. If I zoom in actual size, you can see a lot of detail inside the picture. Now, I'm going to show you how to take the pictures and merge to a programmer and then create a plan. Camera set up at Corona Park in Queens, New York, around noon time. It's a really good ambient light source to shoot 360 degrees panorama because they are less subtle at anywhere. I use 12 mm super wide angle lens. I need to catch more sky and ground to create a little planet. In here, I took eight photos from beginning to the end. Now, I load the photos to the computer and then open the Adobe Bridge. Okay, all photos right here. This is first one. Then I scroll down to the last one. Shift, click, and all its images here. It's eight, total is eight images. Okay, now I'm going to Tools, Photoshop, Photo Merge, I click, okay, Photoshop is open. Okay, this dialog box is out. Okay, we check the first one is Auto, and then it's at the Open Files, all is eight files here. Here is a three check box. We check all of them and then click OK. OK, now it's merging together. Now, oh, what's that? Oh, I'm sorry, I still use the trial mode. OK, I click continue to trial. It takes a while. It depends is how powerful your computer. This picture is coming out not bad because I can see same object on both sides. One is right here. And another is here. There's the same object. That means is picture is more than 360 degrees. If I zoom in actual size, and close a eyeball and we can see here is the merging you know like a blending that means it is we cannot see anything but that means it is uh, blending is good okay now go back to now I'm going to do is here to flatten all layers. Now I'm going to layer, scroll down, merge layers, and all eight layers is becoming one. And then I'm going to filter, other, offset. Okay, let's type about so. Okay, we just click OK. So now I'm going to cut it. 
use the rectangle marquee tool to make a exactly line straight down and cut this one and paste to another side because I want to make it exactly 360 degrees. I find here down a bit more a little bit right here the tray is there okay good now I'm going to add cut and add again here and paste okay and then use the move tool and to move I have to zoom in a little bit push more Okay, this is uh, a little difficult, you know, take a while because I doing the demo is not going to do the perfect line. Okay, now I just use the down, down to it's now it's looks almost is is good, and then I add to this and put a mask. Okay, and then use the pen brush. Okay, and make sure it's foreground is black and then I'm going to paint on the mask okay this is the line is right here you know I have to scroll down okay this looks is not bad because you know I don't have time to do it just so you guys is doing a little first okay oh. come on okay back okay now it looks it's not bad and use the keyboard shortcut control E and merge down two layers okay now let's go to filter other offset again click OK okay now we have to train down the both sides the transparency okay now I'm going to image trim okay and train the transparent piece click OK okay they automatically train down both sides now I use the crop tool to crop it if I'm going to crop it it's getting like a maybe 20% less but I'm not going to crowd it and try to a lot of things going to do it okay I use to feel and see what's going on okay and now I use the magic one tool to and shift click shift click and shift click okay all is select go to select modify and expand I need to expand maybe 15 pixel or 10 to 20 pixel it depending is how big is image I'm doing like a 15 pixels and then click OK now I'm going to image no, it's not image. It could be not oh, add fill. Okay, contain will fill. Then click OK. Contain will is doing a good job. Keep a shortcut control D to deselect selection line. Photo size is small enough. It's doing it's doing great job. Okay. Now, next things I'm going to do is help to make the image is becoming like a square. Okay, now I'll go to image, image size. Okay, coming out is like a 16, 16,000 pixel. You know, I'm going to change uh, maybe 1,000 pixels no 10,000 pixels by 10,000 okay and then click OK okay now it's becoming 
square, but it looks it's terrible, but it's not yet. Now I'm going to add free transform. Okay, and right click free transform and rotate the 180 degrees outside that. Okay, and then enter. Okay, good. Now it's going to filter, distort, polar coordinate, and play in. Okay. Okay, now we just click OK. Wow, it's coming up. That's good. Now I would like you know to move the global up. It looks a little a little better I think. Okay, now we use the free transform again and turn it. And then it's okay. Now almost finished, but we have a little problem on background. You can see the chatable on background. That means it's like a transparent, but it's not 100% transparent, like a semi transparent. Now we're going to do, we have to fill background. Okay, we put here, we to make a lot of background layer. And then to click here, and we need a gradient. Okay. And slide down, we can change the color as gradient. You know, they have many colors, but a lot of people have different tastes. And uh, I just like this one and click OK. Now this everything is done. It is finished. I know this video takes a little longer. If you have time to watch, I can play a little deeper. And I change the background color to black and create more stocks. It looks like a take a front space. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, now I'm going to use the this one. And a pickle marquee tool to make a selection. Mostly I use the keyboard shortcut in this time. If okay, just release your finger from the mouse. Okay, the selection is there. Now use the keyboard shortcut Control J and make the other layer. Okay, I close the both layer. Now it's like a totally transparent. I use the control and click here and make the other selection. Now I'm going to filter, distort, spare lights. Okay. And this dialog box is coming out. We slide 100% and click OK. Okay, very good. Now it's coming out, it looks it's like more global. You can see before like that, after like that. Okay, now I'm going to control D to D so that the selection, and then I have to make a like a rectangle, like a landscape mode. Okay, now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control O and C and campus size okay now it's clean campus size is 33 inches by 33 inches now i'm going to change 60 inches and and 40 like a four by six and then click okay okay now it's coming up it's like that okay now i'm going to control T like a uh, free transform and then I make the smaller something like that and then move out to here to enter okay and then I'm going to make the 
another layer right here. Now is the keyboard shortcut O, bar space, and fill the background. That's like black. Okay. And then I'm going to make the another layer on the top. Use the brush. Keyboard shortcut B is brush. But it's brush now I'm here to do. Let's go to here to change the brush tip to make that little change, okay? That's what we right here. We're going to change the spacing. It's like uh, maybe uh, maybe I to change 200, 270% and then chip diameter. I'm going to change size theater is like a 100% size theater and oh I have to go back here is a size of piece so I'm going to make it like a like an 80 okay 80 pixels um, here is a theater is like a hundred percent and scattering scattering is going like uh, one thousand and calm Yes, I only need one car, okay, and one car. And coming down here, transfer. I'm going to use the hundred percent flow zip, and opacity zip is hundred percent. Okay, if you make that, if you like, you can save the preset. You know, make a new preset, but I don't need to. Right now, I just close this. Now it's like eighty percent. Now I'm going to paint it. Okay. Oh, I have to make this one. It's like a white color on the front. Now I'm going to paint it like a star. It's like a, because they like a Orlando small and big. If you like a, a little bigger, you can change the uh, tip. A little bigger, like a 150. Uh, Look, it's a little bigger. Smaller, bigger, you can change. Use the right bracket and left bracket to make the brush bigger and smaller. Now, it's a little bit, it's a lot of stuff. It's over there. Now, I'm going to make a lot of layer. I'm going to fill it with the color I put here and click and use the keyboard shortcut the color code in is EECF54 like a gold color then press enter keyboard shortcut all bar space to fill the color press down the whole key click on the mask to hide the layer now I'm going to take a brush and use the right bracket to make it a little bigger and a little bigger and make the clay here make one like a sun and maybe another one here and another one over there just like that alright thank you for watching bye bye